anime is a medium with seemingly endless possibilities, with no genre restriction and no concept too strange, and this applies even more so to manga, but for all the weird anime I've seen and for all the weird manga that people share on Twitter, there are some things that I never thought I would find. Well, that was until yesterday, and this really is something worth sharing. Before I talk to you about it though, I must warn you that this video will contain major spoilers for both Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt and Space Patrol Lulico. So go watch both of those before continuing on with this video. I mean it. Go watch them. Like, now. Not just to avoid spoilers because they're awesome shows you should watch regardless. So have you watched them? Are you good? Okay. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a book slash manga slash doujinshi thing, which is a sequel to both Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt and Space Patrol Lulico. Yes, both of them. The first chapter, or whatever this is, follows Brief as he's trying to put together all the pieces of Panty after Stocking betrayed her and cut her into 666 pieces. So he's finding all the pieces, almost gets them all, but as he gets to the last piece, Brief is attacked by a creature that wants to use Brief to open up this gate to spirit world again. But then Chuck calls their car, Brief puts Panty back together, and then Panty fires a gun at the monster defeating it. Yay, they win. But now here is where things get interesting. Panty's blast tore a hole in the sky, and from that hole a certain someone can fall back down to the surface. And this is also where I spoiled the twist in this chapter, Dojinchi, manga, whatever, so you might want to just go to the link in the description now. Nova. Yes, Nova from Space Patrol Lulico, who ended up going missing after his heroic sacrifice during the final battle of that show. Here, Nova has lost his memory beyond his name, and Penny wants to sleep with him because he's hot and she wants to sleep with pretty much everyone. And this is much to Brief's dismay after all he did to win Panty's heart back in the show. Then there's something with who I think is Garter Belt and Stalking and the Demon Sisters in the background. I think that's who they all were. So yeah, a lot to unpack with a short book or manga or chapter or whatever. First of all, there is a question about what exactly this is. This appears to have been done by Trigger if things from Reddit can be believed, and also the creators of Panty and Stocking, but as far as I know, Gynax still owns the right to that show, so is this just a fan work? Or is it an actual canon sequel to the two shows? And yeah. Lulico already established a shared universe of all Trigger's original work, so it would make sense that they try to include Panty and Stocking along with that all, and yeah, it makes it even weirder, and that's a good thing because Trigger is weird. I also wonder if we'll get more of this since this seems to be just first chapter of something greater and it had the to be continued thing. I'm also wondering if this will encompass other Trigger shows as well. Considering how much I love Kill a Kill it'd be great if some of those characters just showed up here. I mean that show ended on a good note and all and it doesn't need more but still. Anything that would let me see more Maka would be welcome in my book. And I also don't know if what I found online is a whole book or chapter since it seemed like there are other pages that weren't fully scanned, so I'm kind of confused here, and it looks like it's hard to, like, buy this book in America. Though, if I can buy it at a reasonable price, let me know, because, well, I want this. And let me know if you speak Japanese so you can translate it. That would be helpful as well. Anyway, what I'm really hopeful for is that this is just a preview to a new anime from Trigger that picks up on the, all these different stories and like does a sequel to everything. What I would love is they do like a full series embracing the shared universe they established with Luluko. Like I'm picturing stocking fighting with Ryoko with their swords and scissor blades, or like Overjustice and Gamagori giving the most absurd speeches possible, and just so many other things. Or maybe like having Inferno Cup and Overjustice meet again since apparently they were both in the Space Patrol earlier. Though maybe instead of doing a full series they could just do a movie and that way they'd have like a lot of budget to make the animation like even better, even more extravagant, even more explosions, because, well, if there's one thing Trigger knows how to do, it's how to have a show filled with style. Or explosions. Normally both. And yeah, I don't know what else they're going to do. Watch the final frame of Little Witch Academia, or like the final like after credits scene, because something tells me there might be something there, and maybe that will give us an answer to what this whole manga, doujinshi, whatever thing is. Maybe they're actually like announced the second season of Panion's Talking, which would be this, and then, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Oh yeah, this was supposed to be a review, so I guess I'm supposed to tell you like the good and bad, but yeah, um, this one, I give this uh, manga, doujinshi, chapter, book, whatever, a score of certified trigger out of 10. There, was that enough for you? Yeah, I guess this really do isn't a review, it's just more of a video to tell you about this cool thing I found because I wanted to share it, and yeah, links in the description, unless I forget again, if so, remind me and I'll go track this down. So yeah, thank you for watching, I'll see you all next time, and it will be a video that I was working on before I discovered this thing while doing research for that video. So any guesses what that could be? Anyway, I will talk to you all later.